Today we're going to make a children's bed with storage. The client for this project is a couple that lives in Manhattan and has a four-year-old daughter. I worked with the couple and their professional organizer to identify some of the problems. The first challenge was figuring out how to make the art supplies more easily accessible. Their current toy storage solutions was eating up way too much of the floor space. There was a whole bunch of stuffed animals piled up on the bed that had to be pushed to the side every night before bedtime. The room was quite narrow and it's just about eight feet wide. There's also this funny little bump out in the corner that we felt wasn't used very efficiently. We definitely had our work cut out for us and only three days to build. Thankfully our friends over at AO5 Studio let us use their shop in Brooklyn. Because of the tight schedule, we're going to keep it pretty simple and stick to just plywood and 2x4s. We did all the cuts with a circular saw using a straight edge clamp down as a guide. Our cuts were pretty clean but we rounded over the edges with some sandpaper just to make sure there was no splinters or sharp corners. While I was cutting and sanding, Jesse started clear coating all the pieces with a low VOC water-based finish. We used mostly Baltic birch plywood for this project, but for the bottom of some of the drawers and for the 2x4 supports, we used scrap 2x4s and scrap plywood that didn't quite match, so we decided to paint these to match the rug in the room. We just used a low VOC interior latex house paint. I started by making the drawers which are going to be on wheels and go underneath the bed. I pre-drilled holes and then used finished screws to secure everything together. I added a 2x4 in the front not just as an extra support, but it also allowed me to screw from the back side of the 2x4, which means that there will be no visible screws on the front of the drawers. I added some small 2-inch casters that I picked up from Home Depot to the bottom. I wanted to assemble as much of the project as I could in the shop, but not so much that it would be difficult to move around the crowded streets of New York, let alone fitting it into a small apartment. This assembly is going to create shelves up above the bed and the roof for the bed canopy. I screwed 2x4 ledges to the side panels, making sure to add screws from both sides. For the visible 2x4 supports, I used the ones that I painted blue, but the other ones I just left raw. For the panel that goes at the foot of the bed, I drilled a whole bunch of half inch diameter holes. This is going to allow me to add bungee cords which will hold the stuffed animals up against this vertical panel. Now Joey, the dad, likes to read to his daughter almost every night and so I wanted to create a little hanging bookshelf which would create easy access in this little nook canopy bed. I just used some 1 inch pine, some 3 8 inch diameter dowels, and finished screws to assemble it. Dealing with traffic, limited parking, and impatient doormen is kind of a challenge for building these types of installations in New York, so we really had to coordinate the delivery and get it all in as quickly as possible. Alright, but before we get to the install part of this project, let me tell you a little bit about the sponsor for this video, NordVPN. Hi, Ben here. As someone that makes their living on the internet, digital security is really important to me. I use NordVPN to create a layer of security between me and potential hackers or identity thieves. It's also really handy when I travel to different countries where social media platforms that I use for work may be banned. A virtual private network not only protects me and my accounts, it also lets me tap into the internet that I want no matter where I'm at in the world. So go to nordvpn.com slash homemade to get 75% off a three-year plan and use the promo code homemade to get an extra month for free. Now I'm very impatient when it comes to signing up and installing new technology, but NordVPN was quick and painless. So seriously folks, protect your digital self today. So once again, go to nordvpn.com slash homemade to get 75% off a three year plan and use the promo code homemade to get an extra month for free. So protect yourself online today and let's get back to the build. For the install we had to clear everything out. Now I was planning on reusing the bed but I wanted to take the legs off. But once I flipped it over I found that I'd really have to take it apart in order to cut the legs short. Alright the room was cleared, Jesse did some vacuuming and I removed this one little crappy shelf that was really not providing a lot of anything. 
We brought in the two side panels and then screwed in a 2x4 just to keep them from tilting inwards. We then added the back bottom panel that's going to support the bed, which really helps secure everything. We use steel L brackets to reinforce the connection for the front bottom painted 2x4, and then screwed down a piece of 3 quarter inch plywood from the top to really secure it. The most challenging part of the install was picking up and placing the roof of the canopy bed with the upper shelves attached. Baltic bridge plywood is pretty heavy, but luckily Jesse's quite strong. I then screwed through the side panels and into the top panels. I added some additional steel L brackets in the corners just for extra stability. Now this family is just renting, so we designed everything to be modular so that in case they move, it'll all come apart easily and can be transported. We placed the bed, slid the drawers underneath, and then added some hooks so that we could hang a nice little paper lantern from the ceiling. We also used hooks and some cotton rope to hang the swinging bookshelf. For the stuffed animal wall, we used bungee cords in a couple different ways. We got a variety pack and it came with these loops which we just poked right through. But for these straight short bungee cords, we poked them through and then hooked the wire hooks onto a dowel. This way they were nice and secure with just the wire parts poking through, but you're not locked into it and it's always easy to take it apart. This way, just in case Olivia eventually grows out of stuffed animals, she can remove the bungee cords and use this as a type of pegboard. It was important to the clients that the stuffed animals be visible from the bed, that way they provide a sense of security, but it's really nice that we're now getting them up off the bed and onto the wall. We were able to increase the storage volume by about 20%, and Tova, the professional organizer, worked with him to purge some of the toys. The result was that we cleared up a whole bunch of floor space, and were able to even build a little mini art desk so that all the art supplies are nice and visible. We were pretty happy with how the project came out. In addition to providing easy access to the art supplies, we provided storage above and below the bed, took advantage of that little awkward space to the side of the bed, and got all of the stuffed animals up off the bed. If you want to see what we're working on next, be sure to follow us on Instagram. Check out some of our other videos, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Thanks. Bye.